Hi, it's Coach Tony Morgan. And this short video is just to show you about some training what we do, and we do it in two ways. We can do it online, and we can do it offline in our reality classroom training room. So you're just gonna see students which have been training, just going through a few things, what they've learned, going over the um, video which you'll see, and hopefully you'll get an insight into what I do. What do you think the next job is now? I would. To <coughs> play it. No. Because now we connect that all. No. No. What's the next thing? Uh, first of all, I would go over everything I've just done. Okay. We're not put the flu on. Oh, no flu, yeah. That's so right. we, so we reconnect the flu. Yeah, yeah, flu, yeah. Yeah, so we do that job, get that done. Job done. Yeah. Once you've done that, what would you do next? I would double check my uh, nuts, make sure they're tight and efficiently, sufficiently. How we open water, everything then. This That's it, go on then, so alright, you're going in the right direction, so what, what would you do next then? Um, Christoph, what we'll do next? I would close the hot tap. Yeah. Yeah, close the tap. This close. Drain points. Yep. Before I before I open the water, the start filling system first, or first uh, open gas. No, first I would do the valve, valve just in case there's a leak. Okay. So what are you going to do then? Open it really, really, really slowly. All right. So you open it. What are you going to open slowly? Uh, the main inlet. Okay, so you open that slowly, make sure everything's okay, and then that's okay, so that's yep. an all leak said, and what you're going to do then, next? Then I would open the gas, because we disturbed the gas. Okay, and then what will you do with that? Um, with the, once the gas is open, I would um, spray it with um, LDF. Yeah. Make sure there's no leaks. Okay, good. And then what are you going to do next? So my water is safe, my gas is safe. But we need filling system. No. Yeah. yeah, go on, what yeah, would you do my next? My water is safe, my gas is safe, my hot tap is closed, I'm at the boiler. I would connect my uh, quantum strap. Then... Oh, basically, yeah, I would... Do that, I've done that, I've done that. So what's the next thing to do? Over oh, well, my flow return. Correct. Okay. So you do that? Yep. Then what are you going to do then? Oh, I'm definitely going to turn the water uh, uh, boiler into heating mode. No. You're not filled, filled the boiler up yet. You only open the flow return. What, the pressure's down? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I'll be opening the flow, um, flow return and make sure my boiler is at 1.3 bar. Right, okay. All right, you've done that, so what are you gonna do next? That's open, that's open. Plumber turns open. Okay, my tap is closed. Electrically. Turn the boiler on. Turn the power on. Turn the power on. On, yeah. Then check polar uh, electrical safety test. All we need to check because we disconnected power supply. Okay, you can yeah you can do that, but you should be all right. But you can do that. Yeah, we are right. So you turn the power on. Then yes. what you do next? I run in heating. How do we run it in heating? I'll turn um, uh, turn the uh, central heating on. Okay, how do we do that? Okay, so it's or okay. Room thermostat. Oh, no, let him. I want him to think. Uh, yeah, I'm just leaving now. Right, so what would you do? Turn the heating on. How would you turn the heating on? Like Christoph said, because it has a receiver, mm -hmm. I would have to turn the room, the room thermostat up. 
Right, let's just go over the heat inside again. How are we going to turn the heating on? Um, first, we'll be turning up the con control for the radiators. Yeah. Because it is uh, has a receiver, a wireless. No, you're not thinking. You're just talking now. Yeah, go on. Remember what we said before? Yeah. Because you, you said you turn up this. Yeah. Because it's got a receiver. No, it doesn't make sense. This is a, the boiler thermostat control, yeah? Yeah. So you turn that up. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing to do the receiver. Yeah. But you said it's because it's got receiver. Oh, no, no. So if it didn't, it, if it, it didn't have an external control. Mm -hmm. I know, but no. This is, we have got what we've got. So you've got yeah. to work with what we've got. Yeah. Right. So, because so let me just explain to you. That's got to be turned up. Yep. Then that's your wireless receiver. Yes. So you got to go to your thermostat, yes. yeah, and turn that up. Yep. That then will send the signal to this. Yep. That light will go green. And then what will it send? What will, where will the electricity L L go? L R. L R. L -R. Yeah. 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 Which is there? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The feed coming in from the controller. Yes. That's it. That's how I want you to explain it. Like I know, but you know what? That I I realised that in the last five minutes that you know when I'm explaining it, it sounds a bit like a mumble jumble because I think it's a tiny bit of nerves, a tiny mm. bit of thinking. Yeah. Right? Well, you've got to think first. And I think I've got to like mm. calm down, think first, That's and then it. get my answer. That's it. Okay, then that will bring the boiler on. We'll leave it on for a few minutes. Um, what it, if there's any air trapped in the system, it'll dissipate into, into the radiators. Yep. Okay. That's what we'll do. When you watch it again, you can see away your mistakes and then you improve.